Hello, my name is David Miller. I'm the founder and coordinator of an international meditation group called the Group of 40, www.groupof40.com. Our goal is to provide a means for assisting individuals and planet Earth in the evolution of spiritual consciousness. We believe that the spiritual level of the entire planet needs to be elevated. We also believe that individuals must also raise their spiritual consciousness. We see that both individuals and the planet now have the opportunity to move from the third dimensional levels to a higher, more spiritual level known as the fifth dimension. In fact, if we do not make this transition, then our entire planet and our entire way of life is in jeopardy. I received the inspiration for creating this group project from my higher fifth dimensional guide and teacher named Giuliano. Connecting with spirit guides and teachers is a well-known technique in Native American practices and also in my personal mystical practice known as the Kabbalah. Giuliano identifies himself as a fifth dimensional spirit guide from the galactic system and planet known as Arcturus, and he calls himself an Arcturian. Over the past 18 years, Giuliano has provided me guidance on ways of helping to save the earth by using new spiritual technologies. These new technologies include biorelativity, creating planetary cities of light, and creating a new spiritual paradigm called the Sacred Triangle. I use the technique known as automatic speaking or channeling to connect and bring through this important information. In this introductory lecture that you're about to hear, I will work with Giuliano to provide you a brief overview of this work and also a sh short summary of some of the new spiritual tools and perspectives necessary to save our planet and to help you in your personal evolution. Shalom, <clears throat> Shalom, Shalom. Greetings, I am Giuliano. We are the Octurians. The Earth is at a turning point. The Earth is at a point in which an evolutionary leap is necessary to ensure the survival of the planet and the survival of the species. We call your species the Adam species. There have been other periods in the history of the earth in which a major evolutionary leap was necessary to ensure the survival of a species. But never before has there been such a dramatic shift, such a dramatic crisis in which the entire species, all species, and the entire biosphere are in jeopardy in such a short period of time. And never before has there been on this planet beings like yourself of higher consciousness who could participate actively in the evolution changes necessary to bring a new harmony and a new balance. This new harmony and this new balance is defined as a interaction with the fifth dimension the problems that are now facing this planet will not be able to be solved just alone by third dimensional energy. There needs to be a new paradigm for the entire 
operation of all the major systems on this planet. And this means that you individually must also experience and be a part of this paradigm. It is necessary and we are calling on all beings of higher consciousness, all beings of spiritual awareness to now activate their energy and activate their focus so that they can participate in this next evolutionary step. Remember, an evolutionary step occurs when a core group of the species shifts. So that means that you who are changing your consciousness, changing your thought patterns, changing your awareness, are participating in the evolutionary shift. Now some of you will even be able to go further and actually receive information from the fifth dimension that will be providing more positive answers and more positive solutions to the many problems that are facing the environment. We speak of the Earth's biosphere. The biosphere in our review is a living aspect of the Earth. The Earth is a living organism. We have traveled throughout the galaxy and we have seen other planets come exactly to your point of development and some of the planets we have observed did not make the necessary evolutionary leap and destroy themselves. Other planets were able to raise their spiritual light quotient, to raise their spiritual light energy so that they began to implement systems that were new but were based on fifth dimensional perspectives. The first fifth dimensional perspective that must be implemented is based on the concept that the earth is a living organism and that man, the species man, must relate and interact in a spiritual way with the earth and with the biosphere. This concept is not new because this concept has been practiced for many centuries by the native peoples around the planet. And in fact, the interaction now on a global basis with the biosphere is called in the new spiritual technology biorelativity. Biorelativity means that man in a spiritual way can telepathically interact with the earth. Now the opposite part is also true, namely the earth can interact and does interact with mankind. So for example, this Gulf oil spill is a message from the earth. Do not abuse the deep channels, the deep meridians underneath the ocean for they are sacred and they must be protected. That is an example of a communication. But mankind can get together in groups, can get together in different ways uh, globally to begin the process of both receiving and sending communications to the earth. And these communications can change, can change the earth. It's this thing is including, for example, many storms which can be um, diluted, where the intensities of earthquakes can be uh, lowered, and many other processes. Because it is true that the earth is now in a period of rapid change.